I'm in Shamrock, Oklahoma today. I'm just gonna short, shoot a really short vid. Uh, this was started in, and it's really windy, so I'm sorry, guys. It was started in 1908 by a guy named uh, James Thomas. I was a uh, local resident of Shamrock, Illinois. So when he moved here, he opened up a business and a post office, and he named it in honor of his hometown. There used to be some crossroads here of uh, railroad, but all that's dwindled. It's two different. There was two different railroad lines that ran through here. So it was a boom town there for a long time. And this old business here just caught my eye. The current population uh, as of 2010 is 101, which was down from uh, 125. And I don't know what this used to be, but it's a really neat looking building. Just figured we'd take a quick look around. see any posted signs or anything. That's that old stone. Pretty sure it used to be a gas station back in the 20s it looks like. As I was saying, I guess there was some oil fields that were established near Sepulpa that kind of helped put this town on the map. And in 2010, the Board of Trustees here voted to dissolve the town. So it kind of looks like that's, that's what's in the process of happening now. Highway, uh, State Highway 16 runs through the middle of Shamrock and right at a major intersection of the street back to my west. Pretty neat little rock shop. were. Fred Windsor and Sons, or Windsour maybe, and Sons, 1927. east of me so this is uh roaming ryan kind of taking one last look as we back away here
gonna drive around Shamrock maybe a little bit more to see if there's anything else here. If there is, I'll add to this. If not, then uh, this is Roaming Ryan leaving Shamrock. We'll see what I can find. <laughs> 